let's begin. Hi there, yogis. This is Sarah, and thanks for joining me in week two of Yoga University. We're working with finding that intention from the inside out this week. So that being said, we have a nice, slow-moving practice that will end with some restoratives and stillness. So allowing ourselves to embody that space of ourself first before we maybe move a little faster and get into some harder things and some more challenges. So finding your own space first. We're going to start in a nice seat here. Again, you can always come up onto a pillow or send the legs out long in front of you if this option to cross the legs is not possible. And right away, just start to find and grab those knees with the hands. And we'll take a nice big breath in here through the mouth. Let it go. Maybe just kind of let yourself collapse. And then inhale, lift up. Maybe shoulders come up to the ears this time. Deep breath in. Exhale. Let it go. Maybe drop the head down again. Inhale. Maybe let a little sound out. Oh, let your day go. Let any tension or stress or anxiety you're feeling for the day go. Again, inhale. Exhale, really. So all about connecting to that internal space. So you can be the best possible you for your day. Yeah? Inhale, one more round. Exhale, let it go. Hold on to the knees. Take a couple cat cows here. Inhale. Exhale, navel comes up an inch into chest. Round out through the spine. Inhale, take it forward. Exhale, navel comes up an inch into chest. And again, deep breath in. Peel open. Exhale, round. And then start to find some circles. So we're going to roll over towards that right knee. Come through center, roll back around to your sits bones, really roll onto the back of your sits bones. Inhale again, deep breath in. Exhale, take it around and back. When you get towards that right knee, switch courses, move in the opposite direction. Coming around, use your inhale to come forward. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, round. <sighs> nice. And then just release the hands away from the thighs. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, bring the palms together. Bring the hands right behind the back of the head and the neck. Push the head into the heels of the hands. Ooh. And then let your shoulders come in and up towards the sky. And drop the shoulder blades down and back and breathe here. So if you did that earlier practice with me of finding your pulse and your heartbeat, you can try to incorporate that throughout this practice of being aware of what the heart rate is. On your exhale, we'll release down here. So just one side stretch, right hand comes down, take it all the way up and over, roll the palm towards the ground. Inhale up, exhale over to the left. Inhale, rise up, and we'll lean back here, shoot the legs off to the left, finding our little pinwheel pose with the legs pressed down into the palms. Find length through the spine, and then on your exhale, twist to the left. Find that outer leg you can grab onto the thigh. Use your left fingertips and roll open. And then see if you can let your chin be nice and parallel to the ground. Navel hugs in, one more deep breath in. Exhale, release back to center. 
we'll counter twist this. Come up and over to the right. Peel open through the chest, chin nice and parallel to the ground. And then exhale, come back to center. Take that left leg, shoot it out. Walk your right foot towards the inner thigh. Flex the toes back towards the face. You can always bring a little bend into this left knee. Use your fingertips. Lift up. Exhale, fold up and over this right leg. Let go of the head and the neck. Option here to maybe reach for the outer left shin or the outer left foot to find a deeper twist. Option here to maybe lengthen your right leg. And then come back to that breath. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Can you find your pulse or your heartbeat? And then like a rag doll in your exhale, we'll take it, roll it all the way up. And we'll lean back, swivel the legs into your pinwheel on the other side. Press down into the sits bones. Press out through the thighs. Exhale, twist up and over to the right. Navel hugs up and in, chin parallel to the ground. Feel a nice softness across the left side of the neck. Inhale to expand, exhale to soften into the twist. And then on your next inhale, come through center, counter twist it, open up to the left, grab hold of that left knee. Just one breath in here. And then exhale, release. We'll shoot the right foot out. Left foot comes to the inner thigh. Fingertips on either side. Flex the toes back towards the face. You can always find a little bend here in the knee. Lift up through the heart. Exhale, fold. Let go of the weight of the head and the neck. And then the option, if you did so on the other side, to find outer right shin or outer right foot. Option to extend the right leg. Notice where you feel the stretch, maybe into that left side body. And then take your time. We'll roll it like a rag doll all the way up. And now we'll make our way onto our hands and our knees, finding all fours. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Take a couple rounds of cat-cow here. Push into the hands. Inhale, roll forward. Open up. Exhale, round through the spine, chin to chest, really push away from the ground. Inhale, take it forward. Exhale, navel comes up and in, chin to chest. And then start to find a couple circles with the hips. Roll it out, roll out through the head and the neck. Roll out through the shoulders. So really find any movement here that feels good. Getting more into the body. And again, remembering this particular sequence and practice is just about connecting to yourself. So if you find yourself kind of wanting to do things in a right way, see if you can back away from that and take the space and the viewpoint of just observing your breath and your body as you move. Come back to center, walk the hands forward a notch and we'll lower down into puppy pose. Forearms come down, you can extend the arms nice and long, forehead comes down. And then release through the weight of the heart. So give yourself a couple moments here to ground out. Let the heart get heavy towards the earth. This is a very humbling pose. It resembles almost like a prayer bowing down to the earth pose. And so it's surrendering. Taking off some of those veils that we maybe carry around all day long, being more true to what you're actually experiencing in this moment. And it might just be chaos in the mind, which is fine. And just own that for a moment. And let yourself breathe through it. 
instead of those two things being very separate. Stay low, slide the left hand underneath the right and we'll find a shoulder. Open our left shoulder, comes down, walk your right fingertips in and peel open. You can extend that right leg long if you want and maybe walk the right fingertips forward and roll open. Again, just options. So if this is too much, you can always lower right knee down and make it more passive and drop that right hand and let it just melt. And then we'll come to switch over to the other side. Left hand down, right arm slides underneath. Again, choosing that passive version. This is where you get to start to honor what your body needs or finding that deeper version. And then exhale, we'll release, come all the way back up to center. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Cat cow again, inhale, roll it open. Exhale, navel comes up an inch into chest. Again, deep breath in, take it forward. Exhale, navel comes up an inch into chest. Option here to find child's pose or maybe take it up and back into one downward facing dog. If you're in downward dog, give yourself a couple of movements. Pedal out the legs, roll through the head and the neck. Check in with your body in this pose. Push into the palms and the finger pads. And so again, if downward dog really just isn't in your practice yet, you can always be in that child's pose, knees wide, big toes together, hips down and back. If you are in downward dog, extending those arms, really pushing like you're extending out like a starfish from the back of the heart. Take one more breath in and then exhale. We'll all meet in all fours, either lowering down or coming up. We're gonna take ourselves right to the wall. So I have a wall right here. You might need to shift, but we're gonna send ourselves up into Vipariti Karani, legs up the wall. So we'll bring our hip in towards the wall, lie back, and then start to swing the legs up the wall. So my bum is touching the wall, but that might be too intense, right? If you have really tight, hamstrings or calves, you can scooch yourself a couple of inches away from the wall. And when you land here, let the shoulder blades come underneath you. Let the arms flop out to either side. And we'll come right into a hip opener at the wall. Cross your right ankle over the left knee. Use your right hand to peel the knee open. Let go of the tension throughout the back of the neck and the jaw. You might even feel a heartbeat or a pulse here. And so with the legs up the wall and that shifted blood flow down to the tailbone and the lower belly, you might start to feel that pulse in the tailbone, which is kind of cool. If you want a little bit more here, you can bend your left knee and maybe bring the foot to the wall sliding it down to any degree, keeping that right knee pushing away.
I'll gently release this side by, if that left knee is bent, straighten it out, send the right leg up, switch sides, left ankle over the right knee, peel the knee away from you, flex the toes back towards the knees. And again, you might pause here or slide that right foot down the wall. So just using this time to notice, you know, what are those thoughts in the mind that kind of preoccupy you? What's your inner monologue? And can you be in, let the mind be in on what the body is doing? Come back to your breath. you're ready we'll come out of this side send both legs up the wall send the palms out to the side and we will end here so stay here for as long as you like as long as you're able to at least give yourself a good solid two minutes here Let the blood flow move down the legs, pouring into the belly and the low back. Let your breath meet that shift of blood flow. This pose is naturally really calming to the mind, sending fresh blood back through the heart and eventually to the brain. Giving your whole entire system and body a flush. So please, if you can, stay here for longer. I will leave you here by bringing the hands together. Thumbs to third eye center. Thanks again for joining me in our second week. And I look forward to tomorrow and many weeks to come. Namaste.